Hello Year One, welcome back to another maths lesson. Um, well done to everybody who did their maths yesterday, you did a really fab job with your one more and one less and that's where we're going to start today as our review phase of our maths lesson. Okay so your very quick job this morning is to be able to tell me what number I've got here in the middle and I'd like you to draw me or write for me one less on this side and one more on this side. And then you can say the stem sentences out loud. You don't need to write those down, but you can just say them out loud. Okay, so at the top of your page, tell me what number have I got in the middle? You don't even need to draw the deans this time. What number have I got in the middle? What is one less than that number? And what is one more than that number? Okay, so pause the video now to do that. Okay, fantastic. So hopefully you told me that you that you counted in your tens and ones and I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I've got 17 in the middle. Okay, then hopefully on one side, if you've drawn the deans, you have told me that 16 is one less than 17, but one ten and six ones. So very tricky to draw these with my mouth. Six, okay, and then hopefully you've also told me that one more than 17 is 18, one, 10, and eight ones. Four, five, oh, that's a bit of a good one. Six, seven, eight. Brilliant. Okay, so the stem sentences would have been one less than 17 is 16 and one more than 17 is 18. Fantastic. Okay, so that's our review uh, phase over. We did a brilliant job with that. We did it on Monday in school, didn't we? Yesterday, so I think we're ready to move on. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're going to do today. So as you can see up here, we're going to be comparing groups of objects. That's our LO today. And our first explore page, it says what which group of objects shows the most. So our first job, the first thing that we need to do is we need to count how many is in each group. So we've got group A here and we've got group B here. OK, and what I'd like you to do in your book is I'd like you to write down A and B and then next to them, I'd like you to count how many there are and I'd like you to write the number down next to them. So you should have A and a number and you should have B and a number, okay? I'd like you to pause the video to do that and then we'll count them together, okay? Brilliant, hopefully you've got so an A and a number and B and a number. Let's count group A together. So I hope your voices are all going to be with mine, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have got seven in group A. Okay, let's count group B. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that was my first job to find out how many is in each group. So in group A, I have got seven objects and in group B, I have got six objects. So now I've got two stem sentences that I need to complete. So let's think about the first one. So group something is the biggest. Okay, so you need to have a think. What group is going to go in there? Is it going to be group A or group B? I'd like you to um, write down that stem sentence, pause the video and write down that stem sentence and then fill in that missing letter. Is it group A or group B? Okay, pause the video now. Fantastic. So hopefully you had a think and you could tell me that group A is the biggest because it's seven is more than six. So group A is the biggest. Now I've just given away the answer, haven't I, for the next stem sentence. So our next stem sentence is something is more than something. Okay, so think about those two numbers we've got. We've got number seven and we've got number six. We want to use those two numbers. Think about which order we put them in to finish that stem sentence. So is it six is more than seven or is it seven is more than six? Okay, pause the video. I'd like you to write that stem sentence down, please. Fantastic. Hopefully you have got the right answer. I did give it away, but hopefully you knew anyway. Okay, so we know, didn't we, that seven is more than six. 
Fantastic. So we've now found out how we had a few steps to get there, but we know group A is the biggest and we know that seven is more than six. So we could have probably been able to tell which group was the biggest just by looking at them, wouldn't we? But we needed to know the numbers in each group to be able to complete this stem sentence. So that is why we had to count them first. OK, let's have a look at the next one. Next explore page. Same question different objects. Which group of objects shows the most? So I think you probably know which one shows the most. It's a nice easy one to look at, but I still need you to count each group so that we can use it for this stem sentence here, okay? So exactly the same as last time, I'd like you to write A and B down in your book. I'd like you to um, pause the video and write me down how many is in group A and how many is in group B. Okay, brilliant. Let's count together, shall we? So I want your voices to be down with mine. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five apples in group A. Let's count group B together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten apples in group A. B. Okay, so time for our stem sentence. Group something is the biggest. Is it group A or is it group B? Please can you write that stem sentence down, pause the video and write it down. So group something is the biggest. Okay, fantastic. Hopefully you have told me that group B is the biggest because we've got 10 in this group and we've got five in this group. So without me giving away the answer this time, Something is more than something. So it's going to be one of these two numbers first and one of them second. Okay, think about what is going to make that make sense, which of you are going to put the numbers in. Have a think about it, maybe tell whoever's with you, and then I'd like you to have a go at writing that stem sentence. Okay, something is more than something. Pause the video and have a go at that one. Brilliant. Okay, hopefully you have told me that 10 is more than 5. Fantastic. So we've got group B is the biggest and we've got 10 is more than 5. Fantastic. Right, let's have a look. Now this one, this one, it would definitely be a good idea to be able to count them, wouldn't it? Because it, they're a bit close, aren't they? Now, there are two questions this time. It's asking us which group of objects shows the most and also which group of objects shows the least. So let's count all the groups just to double check. In fact, your job is first to write down A, B and C. Tell me how many objects are in each group and um, then we will count them together. Okay, so pause the video, A, B, C, and then you can write the answers down. Off you go. Okay, fantastic. Let's count how many there are in group A. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there's fourteen in group A. How many tens and how many ones in the number fourteen? Can you tell somebody who's at home with you? That's right, there are one ten, was one ten, and there are four ones in the number 14. Fantastic. Right, let's count group B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, there are eleven in group B. Now this one looks very similar to group B, doesn't it? Let's see. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See, can you see that there's actually one more in that group, which is why it is important to count them, because just by looking at them, you might have said that those were the same amount. So there are twelve objects in group C. So we've got two stem sentences to go with. First of all, we've got group something is the biggest and we've got group something is the smallest. So please can you complete those stem sentences and pause the video. Fantastic. I hope you were able to tell me that group A is the biggest because we've got 14 in group A and group 
B is the smallest. Okay, now our next M sentence is something is more than something. Okay, now we only want to think about the two numbers, the biggest number and the smallest number. We don't want to think about that one in the middle and get rid of that one. We could use that one, but I just want you to think about the biggest number and the smallest number. So you're going to put the biggest number here on this side of the stem sentence and the smallest number here. So something is more than something. Okay, have a go at doing that and pause the video and we'll come back together. Fantastic. Hopefully you have done 14 is more than 11 because that is the biggest number and the smallest number. Now there are a couple more we could do, isn't there? We could do 14, this one here, is more than 11. Oh, that's what we've just done, more than 12, I mean, that's one of the other groups. And we could also do 12 is more than 11, couldn't we? But I just wanted us to think about the biggest and the smallest group. Fantastic, right, let's see what's next. Okay, this time I've got two groups and they are what I wonder, can you tell who is with you? What do we call these representations? So just this top one, what do we call these? That's right, they are tens frames, aren't they? And what do we know about this top tens frame? Have a good thing, what do we know about this one? We know, don't we, that the top tens frame is full. There's no space in the top tens frame, and that means that there are 10 counters, it's full. So we don't need to be able to count all of the counters, do we? We just need to count the full one. We can put that 10 in our head, and then we can count on from 10 to count the rest. Okay, so our job is to find out how many is in this group, how many is in this group, and then we're going to use the words more than, less than, or equal to to go in the middle. So first job is on one side of your paper, can you write down how many is in this group? And on the other side of your paper, can you write down how many is in this group, please? Okay, pause the video and have a go at that. Fantastic, right, so we, if we counted this, we put our 10 in our head like we talked about, and we can count on from 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there are 18 in this group. Now this one's a little bit easier, isn't it? Because we know that there are two full tens frames and we know that 10, add 10, double 10 is 20. Fantastic, double 10 is 20. So I've got 18 on my one side and I've got 20 on my other side. So now I'm going to read it like a sentence, 18, is something than 20. So is it more than, is it less than, or is it equal to? Okay, so hopefully you've got 18 on one side and 20 on the other side. So in the middle, you can put more than, less than, or equal to. So pause the video, okay? And then you can put more than, less than, or equal to in the middle. Fantastic, we know, don't we, that 18 is less than 20. Oh, me, that's clever. So 18 is less than 20. Brilliant. Right, next one. We also know about this representation. We looked at this yesterday, didn't we? These are our Ds, and we know that this one is worth 10, and these are worth 1. Okay, so let's find out how many is in this group and how many is in this group. So, like you did last time, could you write this number on one side of your paper and this number on the other side of your paper? Pause the video to do that, and then we'll come back together. Fantastic. So we've got 10 here. We're going to count on from 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we've got 15 on my left side. On my right side, shall we use our tens and ones to help us? So we've got one 10. I'm going to write this one 10 down. And we've got three ones. So what number does that give me? One 10 and three ones gives me the number 13. Fantastic. Okay. So again, I want to use the words more than less than or equal to to go in the middle so hopefully you've got that space in the middle pause the video again and write more than less than or equal to please fantastic okay hopefully i've got a more than in the middle we know that 15 is more than 13. super right another set of those ones okay this time we're comparing deans with a tens frame Okay, so again, on your page, please write me 
the number you've got here on one side and the number you've got here on the other side and then we can compare them so why don't you have a go at doing the whole thing why don't you have a go at finding out the numbers and putting the correct uh, two words in the middle okay pause the video and have a go at that one brilliant okay let's have a look so we've got remember this is the number 10 11 12 13 14 15 and we know that the one on my right is the number 20 because it's double 10, two tens frames. So I'm going to put in the middle, I'm going to put 15 is less than 20. So hopefully that's what you've written down, 15 less than 20. And last one, I got a number here. I've got a number here and I'd like to put one of these in the middle. So again, could you please put the number on one side? For the tens frames, the number on the other side for the deans, and then choose which one of these is going to go in the middle. Is it more than, less than, or equal to? Pause the video and have a go. Brilliant. Okay, hopefully you have told me that I've got ten and eight ones. One ten and eight ones, so the number eighteen. And on this side, I've got one ten and three ones, so the number thirteen. And 18 is something than 13. Well, we know that 18 is more than 30. Fantastic. Okay, your final job today. Now, a tricky one we want to make is draw counters to make this statement true. So we've got four tens frames, and we've got one set of tens frames on this side and one set of tens frames on this side. Now, the in the middle it says is more than. Now, at the moment, it's saying 10 is more than 10. So we need to add some counters to make this statement true. So what's going to be tricky about this one? I need you to draw the tens frames. Okay, so have a good go at drawing the tens frames. So it looks like this, make sure you put the counters on and then see if you can put some counters on yourself to make it true. So we need to have this is more than in the middle. Okay, think about how many you could put on this side. Are you going to add any on this side? It's up to you what you would like to do. Okay, so really take your time with this one. Have a good go. Pause the video and then come back to me and we can talk about what you might have done. Fantastic. So there's so many ways that you could do this, isn't there? So I'm just going to think of one way for me, but I'm sure whoever's at home with you can help you to double check that yours is correct as well. Okay, so I've got 10 currently on this side and 10 on this side. That doesn't make this make sense. That would be 10 is equal to 10. I want it to make sense with is more than. So I need to have a bigger number on this side. So that's what you need to check. You need to check you've got a bigger number on the first side than you have on the other side. Okay, and I've chosen, I'm going to have the number 16. So how many ones do I need to draw now? I've got my 10. How many ones do I need to draw for 16? Six ones. Okay, ready? One two, oh, that's not a good circle, three, oh my goodness, four, five, six, brilliant. Now, so now my sentence says 16 is more than 10, and I like that, but I want to make, I want to challenge myself even further, so I'm going to add some counters to my other tens frame. So 16 is more than, so I need to think of a number that is less than 16. So I'm going to choose number 14. So how many tens do I need? Well, I've already got my one ten, haven't I? And how many ones do I need? Four ones. Let me draw those. I hope I do a better job this time. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. So I've got 14 on this side. So does it make sense? 16 is more than 14. Yes, it does. So remember, when you're checking yours, you need a bigger number on your left than your right. Brilliant. Fantastic job today, Year One. Really great maths, as always. So um, that's the end of our maths lesson. And don't forget to put those pictures on Class Dojo so I can see what you've been up to. I'm particularly interested in seeing this last question. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.